want to do a long-term review for you guys of my Laguna 16 HD bandsaw. I've had this thing for almost 10 years, run uh, I guess a couple thousand board feet of lumber through here. I do a lot of resawing for guitar tops. I've learned a couple tricks about this saw that I wanted to share with you guys and give you my long-term view. It's a incredibly powerful tool and I really haven't had any issues with it. The one big thing I really don't like about the Laguna bandsaw is the dust collection is terrible. At one point I tried to build a better dust collection port underneath here as it pulls off. There's only one collection on the bottom and that really doesn't do a great job of collecting dust. So that's the only drawback of this tool. Um, I do just vacuum a lot and I'm not processing uh, hundreds of board feet a day. I'm really doing a couple of resaws here and there. When I first had the tool, I was doing a ton more resawing and that port helped a little bit, but now that I'm not doing it as much, I've left it. I did build a custom fence to take advantage of the full 16 height. So this is something I glued up, laminated, and then waxed the board and I can Resaw 16 real easy. What I like to do is saw off the back of a guitar and then use that for control plate so I get the grain to match. Um, I really have never bogged down the saw. I only did that once when I was resawing a huge burl of maple that was wet. I found it from a tree outside and I had it up here and the blade moved a little bit in the um, burl and I couldn't cut that and the machine actually stalled. That's the only time I actually stalled it. This is I think 4.8 horsepower running a 50 amp circuit and that was probably the only time I ever really had an issue. The one thing that was new back in the day were was these ceramic guides and these have actually worked out really well. I think there was some fear with them and the guides work really well. They have become a little bit loose at times and what I've done is I've just taken a piece of paper, stuck it in there, and it doesn't move then. Um, but I flipped these guides around. I've actually haven't had to reorder guides. When I put on a new blade, I usually will stick a piece of paper in between the guide and the blade, and then pull that piece of paper out, and it's perfectly centered. You know, this is in my garage here, so I do get a little bit of moisture. I clean this up from time to time and put a little bit of bow shields on it and wax it. I haven't had to do it that much uh, even this winter or even the previous winters. I think I maybe do it every two years. The collection of dust, like I said, isn't that great, but I do vacuum out the inside of the machine uh, pretty frequently just to keep it clean. Uh, this guide here rusts and so you got to keep that oiled. That's probably the only thing that rusts. It sticks through here and it gets stuck so I'll oil that every once in a while, but that's probably the only thing that I, I don't like structurally wise of this. I think it should have been uh, like a hard plas plastic composite or something, but this is rust and it gets stuck every once in a while. That's the guide for the back side of the blade. In terms of blades, I'm always using the same three quarter blade. What I like to do is order 20 of these at a time. And if I screw something up, I'll just pop it off put it back on, the blade changes are relatively easy for me. I don't have to really do anything. You don't need the big expensive carbide tip blade for 120, 130, maybe even be more now. These are like 20 bucks. I usually spend about 20 bucks a blade. I can get, I don't know, a couple months of sawing off of that and then I'll just pop a new one on. Only if I hit something, uh, will I have to replay, uh, replace it. And I really haven't done that all that much. So for me, being a luthier resawing lumber, this has turned out to be a great tool. I have had, oh, I don't know, five bandsaws. I had the Rikon 18, but you couldn't get a big blade on it. There was a little bit of deflection in that. I didn't like that machine. I also had the Makita resaw machine that had that huge three inch blade. And then I had a uh dewalt no not a dewalt i had a delta 14 inch and now in my shop i run a craftsman 10 inch downstairs and i run this and i can get through anything i need i think maybe i would have liked to have done the laguna 18 to have a little bit more space for the guitar bodies that i cut 
That was probably my only mistake is I should have gone one size up. I think that was a couple hundred bucks more. Maybe I should have done it. Maybe I, I shouldn't have. But this machine for the 10 years I've had it, I've really had some good luck with it. Uh, outside the dust collection, which I said it, it's really not that big of a deal. But it's something that they probably could improve on. You know, Specifically getting the dust collection port down here. I, I haven't looked at their catalog lately, so they may have done that. But for me... And the money I've spent with this, I I would feel like I've gotten my money's worth out of it. This is a tool that my grandkids will have, uh, at least one of them, hopefully. It is definitely the centerpiece of my shop, and I do a ton of work on it. So for 10 years, I haven't had any problems with it. I really enjoy using the saw. I like the guides. I like the motion. Every time I move this up and down... I loosen this up, loosen the guides up, reset it, and then reset all this. It's really pretty easy to use, and I've gotten a lot of really clean cuts off this saw, and when you put a new blade on, it's great. So this is a 10-year review of my Laguna 16 HD. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.